Okay. See you again. You see me? I'm sorry. Your face closed. I'm sorry. Uh, videos face closed. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Um, so I see you now. So you, so you were explaining to me. Um, so we were talking. Let's go to the vocabulary, right? We were talking about judge. Okay. Uh, Taksim, by the way, Taksim is placed in Istanbul. The famous okay. place in Istanbul. There mm -hmm. are uh, many people go Taksim. Okay. Uh, is famous place, as I say. And uh, the uncle, <laughs> no, uh, the man who don't know uh, where where can go, uh, where you go, uh, where he go, mm -hmm. where, where, where he goes. He goes. If, excuse me. Where he goes. Where he goes uh, mm -hmm. to Taksim. Right. Uh, he he don't he doesn't understand uh, she is she what say right. uh, it is very famous videos in Turkey right now right uh, woman say woman said how can I get taxi mm -hmm. he uh, he don't understand he, he repeat doesn't. again he Haksim. doesn't understand he doesn't understand uh -huh. uh, Haksim. I'm gonna have a <laughs> It is very famous videos. Okay, okay. Now, who's the girl? Who's the girl doing the interview? Who's she? You see, uh, from I think from a course, uh, from a very in English course. Okay. She sounds American, you know, like American girl. Yeah, accent. Yeah. Probably it will be. Uh, she will be. She might be American. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Earth. maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Judge, you should not, you shouldn't judge people by their appearance. Uh, right. As you say, uh, you shouldn't judge people by their countries, by their, uh, by their faith, maybe. Right. right. Or I'm searching the other words, regulations, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it varies. Yeah, re regulation. Like, for example, I'll give you an mm -hmm. example. Um, uh, when you go to the court, when you go to court. Yeah, tennis court. court. No, no, not the, t not the tennis court. But like if you go to the, the, the court, the criminal court. or the uh, Yeah, criminal court. Right. Yeah. Okay. They have a, the person who sits making the decision is called a judge. Mm, yeah. You understand? The person making the decision is a judge. He's judging. Or like, for example, when you do ice skating at the Olympics, the person making the decision of the points is a judge. Oh. Okay. A, a judge is someone who makes decisions. Supposed yeah, to be impartial yeah. decisions, impartial decisions, unbiased decisions. They shouldn't be biased. I watched before. Mm -hmm. American decision is uh, American... Democrat, uh, no, America's American uh, judge. Uh, I liked American judge. Okay. Because I mm -hmm. I watched videos before. Maybe okay. I can show you. It's, uh, a, it's I, like a series. I, I want, I want, yeah. And, it's uh, uh, a two people. I am, I am trained. First of all, I am son of English. Did you watch? Do you watch? I see it. I see it. I see it.
Uh, no, first time. First time in court. First time in my life when I met a United States <laughs> <Abbas. laughs> Well, we hope we give you a favorable impression of the United States judicial system. Okay. All right, so let me explain to you what the situation is. Okay. Everything you said is accurate. Everything you said. There are no signs that say you cannot park overnight. Right. And plus, to complicate matters more, there's a sign saying you can park during certain hours. And you were not parked during those certain hours. So in your mind, I can park here, which makes sense to me. Except that the city has a set of ordinances. <laughs> I like this. This is good. These yeah. are the city laws. And in here it says you can park uh -huh. In Providence. So before you came from Turkey, you were supposed to read this book. Read all of that? <laughs> okay. I have just two, two months here. <laughs> so it's a very confusing thing. People in Providence know they can't. But I don't think it's fair for us to charge you for parking overnight. But number one, you didn't know. Number two, the sign was very misleading. So that's a short version of saying that you won your case. So when you get back to Turkey, you can say I was in the United States uh, and I received the summons to go to court and I fought the system and I won. <laughs> uh, am I won? No, you won. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, very friendly. Like yeah, yeah that, I like it too. that was a nice. Judge. He's a nice judge. Don't Excuse you? Me? That's a nice judge. Most judges are not so nice. <laughs> yeah, actually, it might. Uh, uh, it should be that, in my opinion, it should be that all judge. Yeah, but it's not. That's not the reality of the situation. <laughs> I used to go because, as a lawyer, I used to go to court, go before the judge, and and some judges are nice, some are not nice. You understand? Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, so <laughs> you no, still uh, are you still. Um, where is it? <laughs> practicing lawyer uh, no. well i'm technically a lawyer but i don't practice law per se i don't practice mm -hmm. law in other words i don't go to court or do any of that but i um but i'm still a lawyer i still think like a lawyer and i still you know my brain is still like a lawyer i think about everything legally oh yeah you know and how to decimate disseminate information and and articulate what the circumstance of things are you see yeah a lawyer has to be logical he has to be able to uh logical lo logical 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 okay yeah yeah he has to be able to decipher information and be able to come up with quick decision making be able to read people read people be able to understand circumstances come up with i think uh i, I don't i didn't uh, i don't uh recall come up with yeah hey yeah i i remember i'm gonna write some work for you to work on um come up with yeah um okay come up with these are all these are like phrasal verbs right um decipher uh uh um logical okay Th these are some words decipher decipher yeah de de decipher logic. right so these are words that you could add to your vocabulary for today you know decipher information decipher information is to get information from another place decipher for example, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, I deciphered. Can I say mm -hmm. I deciphered? Uh, maybe I my uh, I deciphered my computer password. Password, maybe. Yeah, you could say that I deciphered. Um, or my friend. Uh, if I say my friend, it uh, it will be more accurate. I deciphered my friend. Yeah, you could, you know. I my friend passport. Okay, yeah. I deciphered. Passport. 
Right. So you, you kind of be, you were able to come up with the information about that password, see, deciphering information. A lawyer has to think logically in deciphering information. Logically. Yeah, logical. So logically, in other words, he has to look at the facts, the law, and apply the two. You apply the facts to the law. Mm, yeah. You know, or the law to the facts, you see? So, for example, in this situation with the, the man there in the photograph, I mean, in the, what you just showed me, his situation was he parked the car in a, in a location where the sign says you cannot park the car between certain hours. Hours, certain yeah. Certain hours. Like, for example, you can't park the car between 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. You understand? You cannot park the car between eight and four. Yeah, I see. Right, but it you didn't. Know, uh, yeah. Right, but it didn't say that you cannot leave the car there overnight. That's why the judge voted in his favor. That's why the judge gave him the benefit of the doubt. See, but the judge took a nice. The judge took the information, the facts, and applied the law to the circumstances. But he also, not only that, but he used his common sense in making the decision because he could have said, the sign is so-and-so, you're guilty. Pay the ticket, bye-bye. He didn't mm, do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Of course, it's, it's a TV show. It's a TV show, right? It's TV. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So in TV, they have to make it dramatic. So the judge can't be like matter, what we call matter of fact. I write a word, matter of fact. Matter of fact, he cannot be matter of fact. In other words, he cannot say black or white. He has to hmm. make it interesting, dramatic. You see, matter or fact. Matter of fact. Matter or fact. Yeah, in fact, maybe. N no, no. A matter of fact means you make a decision based on the on just in the information that's provided. You know, you don't take into consideration um, the circumstances, the circumstances. Like he said to him, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. So he took into consideration that he was Turkish, that, that English was not his first language. That he took into consideration that he was there for only two or three months. So hmm. he didn't have time to consider all the laws or understand the laws of America. If he had said, I've been living in America, I'm from Turkey, but I've been living in America for the last four years, he would not have gotten the benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Another word. Benefit of the doubt. I'll write that word for you. Benefit. Benefit. Of the, of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Okay. Hmm. Benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah. Benefit of the doubt. Okay. So, for example, um, the when you say you, someone got the benefit of the doubt, means that they got a, a, a good, a good situation, a good uh, decision. A good, yeah. Uh, as as a videos. Right. As in videos. Right. Because the judge could have said black and white. You park the car, it says no parking, eight to four. You park the car there, you're guilty. Pay the ticket. He didn't say that. He took all the information into consideration. Mm, yeah. Consideration. A, consideration, yeah. Write that word, consideration, okay? Consideration? Yeah. Consideration. Things, maybe. Right, considering okay so i want yeah, you to work with this benefit of the matter of fact you could say for example um you know Hamza, ma matter of fact you as you were saying before you were you're learning english you're doing very well in english you know i now that i see i listen to you you're doing well in english matter of fact see how you yeah. could apply that word that phrase right. matter of fact okay this and is you know what example Right. And you know what? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt 
in your English because you I could tell that you're making a good effort. Yeah. You see? It, yeah. You make effort uh, right. for learning English. Correct. Uh, for that, you benefit of the deb do doubt. 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 Yes. Not doubt. be silent. Be silent. Let let her. Right. Yeah. Right. So I want you to work on these. Uh, keep. You know. You're gonna have three or four in words. This is good for today. Start practicing that. Okay. Yeah. Practicing is important. Right. So let's in continue. Project. I know. External. Mm -hmm. External. External. Do you know what external means? No. Hmm. External maybe uh, ex. Uh, I know from my school extra. Uh, for example, extra vazal maybe. Uh, term healthy terms. Right. Uh, right. Maybe external. Costa. Ex right. External means coming from an outside source. External outside source. For example. Outside um, source, yeah. Source, yeah. So, for example, the teacher says in your classroom, Hamza, I want you to study. I want you to bring external sources to uh, the project. I want you to go and research outside, not inside. Not. I don't want you to just talk about what's in the book. I want you to bring external sources also. See? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I see. Right. External. Or yeah. like... Like, for example, if you want to, uh, sometimes when you're saving things, you're saving, you want to use a USB, USB, like mm -hmm. a, a stick, a stick. Yeah. You, you put it in and you download the information on the stick. That's an external source. It's not on the computer. It's external. You understand? Uh, yeah, I see. I see better. Right, better. right, right. Uh, for example, as you say, where is my USB? Anyway, it's lost. Uh, if you want to, for example, imagine that a USB, right. Right. Uh, external source. Correct, correct. So, so if anything happens to your computer, you still have the U, the USB stick as an ex because the information is saved on that. So that's an external source. You see? Yeah. Okay. 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 This mm -hmm. external features or oh, right. features. Mm -hmm. uh, building. External means outside of the building, the external features, outside. Features. Features? Right. Okay. Like, yeah, like for no. example. Okay. For example, um, Sophia, um, like Sophia Mosque, for example. Let's, Sophia, Sophia Mosque, is Sophia. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in in inside, it looks a certain way inside. Externally, what does it look like outside? Outside. Yeah, that's the external. You understand? Yeah, I see. Internal is inside. External is outside. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I saw, no, no, no. I said, I said, Sophia. I've got a. Uh, Right. Sophie's, Sophie's. Yeah. Sophie's. So, <laughs> so internal, out, external, internal, external. Internal, external. Yeah. Right. right. As you right. say, uh, internal. For example, mm -hmm. as you say, uh, Sophia. Mm -hmm. inter, uh, for example, uh, mm -hmm. external or right. inside, internal. Correct. Correct. Like like your building, the building where you're living. You have the ex external part of the building outside, and then you have internal, which is where you're living, the apartment, the inside of the apartment. But external is the outside, the brick, the wall outside. For example, uh, how can I say, uh, took my phone, maybe put my phone. Uh -huh. uh, I put uh, a, what is the name? A cover, a cover. Yeah. Well, I took, uh, I put uh, a cover, uh, mm -hmm. extremely face, no external on the back, face, on, 
external right external, external face, face. Right. on right. external face yeah exactly right maybe to, to protect the phone protect the phone to protect the phone yeah mm -hmm. okay right. the other word backyard backyard okay in area ah yeah i, I know that an area mm -hmm. in back of house uh when i was a child um we i had we had a backyard but uh now there are many apartments buildings yeah. but no backyard. Right. right exactly so you have a backyard of your house but you could also say for example um you know in uh you're you're in my backyard you are in my backyard yeah okay. oh i see you are backup yeah. maybe no, no no it's like it's like it, it, I, let's say i uh, i came to visit you in turkey in istanbul uh, yeah okay okay so you i'll say i'll say to you hey you know uh hamza uh you tell me where we should go because i'm in your backyard this your in other words i'm in the area that you know well backyard is could be where you know well other if house you come to, Huh? Other house. But no, no, no. I, no. I, I understand. For example, if you wanted to go to Turkey, uh, right. you you came, you will came easily because you have backyard in Turkey. Uh, you can say it, uh, Hamza, uh, you are backyard. You are, uh, you are my backyard. Yeah, no, no no okay it's like if you let's say you came to united states and you said hey talker i'm going to united states you know what should i do in in orlando or new york or california i said well i could explain it to you because that's my backyard i know that means that i know there well i know it well hmm. see yeah, yeah. The, so backyard means knowing well so I'm going to write that down. Backyard means, uh, well, I mean, it, of course it means a place, a backyard. Like in my house, in my house, I have a home. I have a backyard. I have a yard that in the back that you could, that, you know, people could walk out there. You could sit out there. You could, the dogs could yeah. go and run around. That's called a backyard. But you could also use it symbolically, symbolically. I, yeah, like I see that. Right. So backyard means uh, a a place I know well. Okay, a place I know well. So if you go to school and you say, "Professor, uh, I don't want to. I'm not gonna. Dis, I'm not gonna have an argument with you because nursing is, you know." biology or chemistry or whatever that's your backyard that's what you know really well oh uh, yeah for example uh i didn't go to i i have i haven't been to uh londra uh, london i have a friend in london he who lives in london right uh, is correct who who lives in London? Who yeah. lives in London? Uh, I want to learn um, ballet clothes. Uh, right. Who lives in London? Uh, and then uh, he he uh, he is uh, backyard. His backyard. He is. he is my backyard. Because no, that, that that's no, that's his his backyard, not yours. Yeah. Yeah, because he's the one who knows London. You don't know London. Yeah, he knows well. He knows well right. London. Exactly. You you're going to you're going to his backyard. Okay. Yeah. You know, and like for example, you could say, uh, let's say um, we're playing a football match, and I come from Spain, and I'm going to go and play Galatasaray. When I go to Galatasaray, that's their backyard. They know. The area they know, the field they know, every the food, the drink. So that's easier for them. They they know. That's what it means to pl a place or thing that someone knows. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We we don't have um. No, uh, I I know other words. Uh, we okay. can let's pass uh, okay. to exercise. Okay. Listen, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go, Hamza, because I have a phone call coming now. Because you started a little late, somebody's coming now. Okay. 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 Yeah, but if you want, we could we could pick it up and afterwards. Okay. Do, how many time do you have? Uh, you have six minutes left. So if you want after this class, this person, an hour, then we could speak One again. hour later? If, yeah, one hour later. Okay, uh, I will be waiting. Your... Okay, I'll text yes. you. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. See you.